Monkeys are like people. I can find them in chambers to test their abilities so I can sell the strongest one to an exotic buyer who will remain anonymous. The people, I mean monkeys, then fought back against me and escaped. They now roam the streets calling themselves the Primate Posse. It is said that if they find you, they will take two inches off your height and spoil the ending of Attack on Titan. All because I wanted to see if a single monkey could beat round 1000 in Bloons DD6. First, the primary monkeys. Would you think I was insane if I said I believe this dart monkey can beat round a thousand. There are plenty of other reasons you should think I'm insane, but this is not one of them. Because this dart monkey has the power of three upgrade paths. I downloaded a mod that allows maximum upgrades to all monkeys. This man's gonna break shot put world records. The boomerang's gonna retake Australia from the invaders. The tack shooter will end global warming by starting global melting. The ice monkey will fix that. The bomb tower will create a tunnel through the center of the earth for fast travel. And the glue gunner, we don't care about. With a few upgrades, the Dart Monkey shoots three snowballs. All of the towers are doing well. Now, if we check on the boomerang, we can see that, oh, oh no, he can't see camouflage. Monkeys actually evolved to not see leaves, so they can swing from branches easier. I know it's true, because otherwise, why the fuck would this camouflage work? The tack shooter, bomb tower, and glue gunner all cannot see camo, so they can't beat round 24, which is a little far away from round 1000. But of course, the Chad Ice Tower can see camo. He's a beast. Oh, he can't pop white balloons. A blue person who can only attack blacks. How interesting. Which means by round 25, we have only a single primary contender left, the Dart Monkey. Okay, my employer is getting impatient. I need to find a monkey that can beat round 1000. I'm going to have to start the military monkeys off early. I can't rely on the Dart. These towers are in the army. They're made for slaughtering civilians who happen to be born in the country of the enemy. I mean, made for popping balloons. Easy slip of the tongue. Except the submarine. He can't shoot while he spots camo. That behavior I can't stand for. With the right upgrade, all military towers can pop camouflage balloons, pop lead balloons, purple balloons, birthday party balloons for Jaden, who didn't invite me to his 11th birthday party. Anyway, the first few rounds went well. Except for the sniper, I put him on the hardest map in the game because I was so confident he would win. This is my golden goose for the round 1000 challenge. And it's going suboptimal. If I get this upgrade, I can win. If I press it faster, surely. No. I put the Dartling Gunner on the second hardest map and he's doing fine. Although this tower requires me to actually aim. I have to stop the other simulations while I focus on this. Once I was shooting lasers at the balloons, I knew that wasn't enough. So I added a Gatling gun to my laser Gatling gun. Now I have twice as many guns, which means twice the safety. Small problem though, lasers do not destroy lead. Lead is the best thing at deflecting lasers. I learned that in school. If I learned other things in school, maybe I wouldn't be making YouTube videos on a kid's game. So I lose, right? Wrong. As wrong as I was on my biology test, where I said cells were where we should put people who use the glue gunner. You see, I'm on easy mode mode, which gives me just enough lives to survive the six leads. And I have enough money afterward to buy hydro rocket pods. Lead does not survive explosions. I didn't need to go to school for that. I just know nothing survives explosion. I beat the round 40 Moab and we're in free play. You might be saying, you playing on easy mode gives me physical pain, but it's importantly strategic. In the late game, the only thing that scares me is bads. They gain health exponentially infinitely, and easy mode gives them slightly less health. All I care about is finding the tower because I will have consequences if I don't. Round 63 is the hardest in the game and I beat it. Then round 67 wrecked me before I could even upgrade this tower to its full potential, which would have looked like this. But even this loses in the early 100s. And no, I can't set the sandbox level to round 1000 and just win. You can only set the round to the highest level you've beaten. I have to do this completely legit. With the overpowered mod, of course. I then upgraded the Dart Monkey to become the greatest snowball fighter in the galaxy. Moving on to the Boat Monkey. On the map, Balance, representing peace, tranquility. The exact opposite of the pirate monkey. We sail the ocean to plunder booty, booty, and blooty. Meanwhile, I was manually controlling the helicopter, so I bought autopilot software from Tesla, who only killed a few people. We can definitely trust them. My lizard should have stopped me giving these political opinions, but he was captured by my employer, and without finding the right tower, I'll never see him again. The plane was flying in the number of good YouTubers there are. The sniper got sent to hell for insulting Morgan. It might do better here. And the mortar, I have to manually choose every shot, so I'll do that later. It won't take long, it'll last like four rounds. This tower sucks. I'll check on the dart monkey. Oh my god, I don't... 
that's good, right? Yeah, he, he doesn't need any help. Their sails painted with skulls to show they sell Halloween costumes as well. And I went for the final upgrade, and my game crashed. I restarted, upgraded it again, and it worked. Until I started the round. And on another map. Some booty was never meant to be seen. So I moved on to the helicopter monkey. First to finally get 555 five, five upgrades. Nope, this one crashed as well. So far, none of the towers have even made it to round 100, let alone 1,000. I'm going to allow buffing towers as well. Villagers, alchemists, and engineers. They aren't going to be doing the popping, just making the real tower pop faster. And with these insane buffs, my max 555 five, five dart monkey managed to beat round 100, tearing through the bad. I wonder if any other tower can deal this much damage. Well, the sniper is spawn killing the enemies. I can't even see them leave their exits for a second. The dart monkey is building a second Mount Everest. The sniper is facing the round 100 bad, not even close. There is snow absolutely everywhere. This could be it. These two towers are unstoppable beasts that will make it to round 1,000. Okay, that's a lot of balloons. Calm down. Come on. Ah, I don't even know what to click. Well, at least we still have the sniper. Oh, geez. Those balloons are getting a little fast. To show you how powerful the 555 sniper is, it won this. The bad is three pixels from the exit, but the sniper won. And it still lost three rounds later. The current standings have the sniper in the lead with round 182. But I'm running out of towers. I'm losing hope. No, you monster! I suppose I'll try the mortar. I have to look through the controls of this game. This is how much I don't use this tower. You see, some of them get through, so I have to change the bomb target to chase them down, then go back and miss them. Um, I just hate it. Wait a second. I bought Bernie stuff. Now it sets them on fire. I don't have to chase. Uh, guys, I don't think I hate the mortar anymore. This is kind of cool. You know how I said nothing survives explosions? I was right. It's time for the big one. Oh, it just got more violent. I feel like this is too graphic for me to put on YouTube. I did get demonetized for saying the word, I, c I can't even say what holds back water anymore. For the round 100 bad, I might change the targeting to make it hit directly on it. That was pretty easy. Could this be the one? On round 140, it's still doing well, but I have to constantly change targets to directly hit the bads. I'm chasing with fire all around, and around 152, there were tons of them. I tried, but I couldn't beat the last few. It seems like there are no towers that can beat round 200. And that's because of ramping. After round 100, Moabs increase their health by 5% every round. After round 150, they increase their health by 15% every round. By this point, they're already 700% stronger than on round 100. Every round is exponentially more difficult. On a graph of round 1 to round 1000, here is round 180. The game doesn't even get difficult until round 900. So we aren't that close. But when logic and maths are against you, the only thing that can prevail is magic. The magic class of monkeys. Two of which can't see camo. And the super monkey is too expensive to even afford, which leaves two magic monkeys. Can they be our savior and use their magical hacks to get us to round a thousand? No, not even close. The ninja sucks. The wizard did all right, but worse than the sniper. Moving on to our last final hope, support towers. Go banana farm! Avenge your brethren! Close. Very, very close. How's the village doing? Yeah, it's trying its best. Wait, I forgot about the plane. The military plane. It's shooting darts and missiles and homing explosives and destroying everything. This is the coolest thing I've seen in this game. And it lost on round 151. Okay, the spike factory is being automatic. That's cool. And the engineer. The engineer. For some reason, I don't want the engineer to do well. Technically, he spawned six other towers, so he's already failed, but I'll allow it. He put his trap on the wrong side, and this mod stops him from moving it. I told you engineering sucks, Dad. Being a YouTuber is a real job. I guess I can just move him to the other side. He's actually doing really well, almost a around 100. The only problem is, he can only see camo by cleaning off the leaves with this foam, and it resets every 10 balloons. So if a lot of camo come at once, it kind of destroys me. But I got an upgrade for the banana farm. Now they're in trouble. Okay, last tower. The spike factory. It's been doing its job. I gave it the longest map to prepare. It beat round 40. It beat round 63. Wait, what just happened? Oh, damn. And they explode. Each of these can kill a Moab, and the ability launches all over the map. But more than this, much more than this. The final middle path upgrade makes this ability happen automatically every 10 seconds. Look how many balloons one of these can take. Look how many there are. This could actually work. Round 100 coming up. There's the bad, and it's gone. They are just floating straight into their deaths. I was right all along. The key was explosions. But still, the spike factory hasn't even beaten the snipers round 182 yet. So I added the alchemist and village to boost it. Nothing was getting past the first bend. I didn't record round 182, but here's round 200. A fortified band, the strongest balloon in the game. And the spike factory tore through it like the US military. 
And on round 225, I did something I didn't think I would get the chance to do. There is another support tower, the True Sun God. It gives 40% attack speed and more damage. It costs over half a million cash to buy it. So now I have the most powerful tower in the game. Round 300 was long, and they got about halfway, but my spike factory remains. Although now every round, balloon health increases by 150%. So by round 307, bads now have 100 times more health than they originally had. And this is too much. Sure, I could have activated the ability manually, had homeland defense to increase my attack speed, and lasted maybe three more rounds, but it's not making it to round 1000. Only the village can do that! Get him! Go village! I can't lose my lizard, so I'm photoshopping it and sending them the victory. Victorious Village. This should buy me enough time to rescue him. I'll be back. 